Hello viewers, this is Paladin of Odin, and this is some more Magic the Gathering Online. This is another episode of the Standard Commentary Series, and it looks like we've got Mardu Aggro versus Golgari Aggro. So, it looks like so f Okay. I was about to say, Mardu has a veteran motorist, but one counter off of Walking Ballista sees to that, opening the way for Wandering Constrictor to get in for two. Fatal push from Mardu to kill off the wandering constr or winding constrictor, excuse me. And that leaves Golgari with a 1-1 one -one walking ballista. Veteran motorist from Mardu. And honestly, unless he has something in his hand to um, buff up the walking ballista, I think that I would pop the ballistic to kill the uh, veteran motorist, because, you know, killing the first one was easy, because uh, Winding Constrictor meant that it came into play as a 2-2, so why not? But at this point, like I said, if he doesn't have a way to buff it up to make Walking Ballista more relevant, killing off a veteran motorist isn't the worst thing, especially since this thing is a 3-power by itself. And then, you know, if he's running a powerful vehicle... You know, plus one, plus one to that vehicle. Okay, another Winding Constrictor. Well, there's not a whole lot that he can really do here. I mean, he could have attacked in right there. Uh, most likely, he would not have blocked because the veteran motorist is more important to him alive than dead. Which, you know, one damage getting through, you know, not that big a deal. But at the same time, you never know. You know, later on, it could come down to the fact that, oh, if I had just attacked in for that one more damage. Unlicensed Disintegration to kill off the Winding Constrictor. He does not have an artifact, so no 3 damage. And he's attacking in with the Motorist. And he pops the Ballista to kill off the Motorist. He waited until he attacked with the Motorist. That way, there was the possibility that his opponent might have had a buff spell to try and throw at it, and that way you get to two for one him or you know you you always want to try and two for one your opponent so every chance you get you, you wait for a little while to see if there's the opportunity but when it comes right down to it when you have the chance you kill your opponent's creature since you know it's obvious he doesn't want to let you get a walking ballista that's a you know five five or something and he did work you know, he killed two veteran motorists. That is good work from a guy that you paid two mana for. Tireless Tracker. The other side has Gideon with a 2-2 two -two token. He's attacking in with the Tireless Tracker. He has the mana to sacrifice the clue token. He has to block here because he doesn't want to lose Gideon. So he's going to force him to pop the clue token to keep his Tireless Tracker alive. And thanks to Winding Constrictor, he's a 5-4 now. Which means that Gideon is going to die if he can get that Tireless Tracker through. So, Mardu really does need to try and kill that Tireless Tracker here. And he's got plenty of ways to do it. You know, he's running black and white, which have a lot of ways to directly destroy creatures. Red, okay, unlicensed disintegration again, and again, no artifact, but he does get rid of a very powerful card, but like I was going to say, you know, uh, black and white, lots of destroy creature spells, red, theoretically, can deal enough damage, you know, something like a lightning axe would have worked. Okay, manning up Gideon, sending him in for five. So Golgari goes down to 15, he's still got his Winding Constrictor, which as a 2-3 is going to be almost impossible for Mardu to deal with with one mana. The only problem is, does Golgari have anything to do? 
He's got four cards in hand. He gets in for two with the Constrictor. Mind Rack Demon. Top four cards. Ooh, he's only got three types in his graveyard. It's not going to be very hard for him to get a fourth type so that he gets Delirium, but at the same time, you know, that's four life you're losing until you get it. Fatal push to get rid of the Winding Constrictor, because at the moment, four damage, you know, he deals four damage to you, this guy deals four damage to his controller, or his owner, quite easily. Um, you're still going to get in damage with Gideon if you want to do that right now. Scrap Heap Scrounger. Okay. Just double checking here. Yeah, he didn't activate Gideon. But Mind Rack Demon loses him life, so he's down to 11. Still does not have Delirium. He's attacking Gideon for 4. Kills off Gideon. And another Mind Rack Demon. So this will most likely give him Delirium. Okay, so he's got four types now. He lost two Nissas, though. She would have been incredibly helpful if he'd gotten even one of those. But more importantly, he's not going to lose eight life next turn. Okay, Scrounger's attacking in for three. And he's debating. He decides to take the three damage, because, you know, Mindrack Demon's a 4-5. He could very easily eat Scrap he Scrounger, but three damage leaves him vulnerable to everything. You know, shock, galvanic bombardment... Um, you know, there are tons and tons of things that could kill Mind Rack Demon with three damage on him. So he decides to take the three damage and go down to eight, which is a little bit risky. And now he's attacking all in two Mind Rack Demons. That's going to be eight damage. And Mardu will be down to ten. He has one card in hand. He'll have two on his next turn. Let's see, three, six. If he mans up the needle spires, that would be a total of ten. Okay, scrap heap scrounger from Golgari. That's not gonna help him here. Unless he can live. But, you know, this is gonna be close. He potentially he has lethal if he wants to man up the needle spires. The only problem is that Golgari has two cards in hand, four mana open, and he's got three hissing quagmires. He could man up one of them if he wants to. So most likely Golgari is going to survive this attack. And then he can return the favor with eight flying and a three two. Okay, he is manning up the Needle Spires, so he's going to go all in here, hoping that his opponent doesn't have what he needs. The only problem is, is that all he has to do is man up a Hissing Quagmire and block any one of these creatures, and he lives. And the return swing is lethal. Or... Grasp of Darkness on the uh, Needle Spires. Just as good. And, you know, unfortunately for Mardu, that, you know, he was just one turn short. You know, if he had done that the turn before, he might have actually won this game. But, uh, you know, these two decks are fairly well matched against each other. You know, with some matchups, if you're an aggro deck, you can afford to just go face all the time, as fast as you can. When you're facing off against a deck that is similar to yours in both play type and 
uh, power, you actually have to be careful. I mean, these two decks are very well matched up against each other, and both of these players know what they're doing, because both of them had to consider what the other guy was capable of. You know, you didn't see these guys recklessly going at each other um, like crazy, because if you do in a situation like this, your opponent has an advantage because you have no way of protecting yourself. But, you know, other than, like, one misplay from the Mardu side where he didn't use Gideon, you know, these guys both played very well. So I'm going to end the video here. That was Mardu Aggro versus Golgari Aggro. And if you liked what you saw, hit that like and subscribe button for me, and I will see you in the next video.